killer. I just want to add this part really uh, early in the beginning of the video, which is why I'm saying this now. Uh, I know this video is coming out really late, it's just that for the past couple of days I've been dealing with real life, real life stuff and I just haven't been, you know, feeling the greatest in terms of just like handling my emotions as well as I probably should be uh, and stuff like that. Other, also be, reasons because of that, I haven't really been sleeping as well recently. I feel really sleep deprived, uh, I've just been... Staying, uh, staying up all night and all day and stuff like that. I haven't gotten enough sleep. Uh, uh, yesterday, or I guess last night, I guess you can say. Uh, you'll be seeing this on Wednesday. But I guess yesterday, uh, I, I kind of just slept all day. Even though I didn't really want to, like, you know, you know, sleep all day like I did. Uh, I, I was just so tired that I just needed to, you know, get some rest or something, dude. Because it was, uh, it was awful. I just couldn't fucking stay awake. But... Anyways, you will be seeing this on Wednesday, and depending on when I watch the Boruto episode, you might get a double upload. I'm not going to promise anything, though. But anyways, uh, we are back with Dragon Ball Super, of course, and I was a little skeptical with what they were going to do for episode 111. Uh, you know, considering that we had the one-hour special last week with episode 109 and 110, and 109 and 110... You know, every, everybody so far in the community has been loving the fucking episodes, so just I questioned what they were gonna do, and this episode, in my opinion, was really enjoyable to watch. Like, sure, it didn't it didn't have like super high production value as the last two episodes were last week for the one hour special, but that doesn't mean it wasn't enjoyable to watch, considering that it is a fight between Hit and Jiren. The episode title is Extreme Battle of Another Dimension, Hit versus Jiren, and this episode just proves that Jiren is far more powerful than what we were left to believe, even after we fucking saw and we witnessed, you know, Jiren going against Ultra Instinct Goku, and just all this other crap, and I actually want to link a video down in the description uh, that I want you guys to watch if you know you're skeptical on how how realistically powerful Jiren actually is. Uh, it's by Seth the Programmer. He's one of the more well-known, I guess you can say, uh, power scalers for the community of Dragon Ball and even Naruto. And so the episode begins off with what we were left off last week as a cliffhanger and that's you know Goku he's you know down he's out of energy you know he can't really move all too well considering that he had just you know finished his fight with Jiren and we're there left with Frieza powering up what seems to look like an attack uh, excuse me and he's gonna fire that at Goku and they even mentioned in the episode that uh, and that Frieza was like, well, this looks familiar. Familiar. This looks like how I was on Planet Namek. And that's what they did. Basically, what they did is that, uh, you know, Frieza actually gave Goku some of his energy so that way he could then at least, you know, move around a little bit better. Not, not enough to, you know, make him go full power, obviously, but, you know, just, just enough for him to move around. I, I don't think Goku, could, at this point, with the amount of energy that he got from Frieza, can it can even go Super Saiyan, but he can move around, and we see him move around in this episode. We see him uh, watching the fight versus uh, of Hit versus Jiren and stuff like that. And last week's episode, you know, it it did leave off with the cliffhanger being like, "Oh, is Frieza gonna kill Goku?" I was like, "No, they're not gonna do that because a Goku's probably the the only person right now that can actually even come close to knocking Jiren off of the fucking arena and beat him." And the reason why I say that, and why I'm a lot more confident with that now, is because Frieza even mentioned, mentions it himself. Uh, and the reason why he gave him energy is because he thinks Goku is the only one who can beat the monstrous power of Jiren. And that, and that's why he kind of was just like, okay, I'm gonna hold my grudge against this against this guy that I hate. But you know, I ne I need to be able to survive and win this tournament so I can you know get the wish for the Super Dragon Balls like I was promised to and he knows that Goku is most definitely the only person to you know beat Jiren he wants to avoid Jiren because he knows that he's significantly weaker compared and it's absolutely ridiculous how realistic how unrealistically powerful this guy is 
I'm going, I'm scrolling through my timeline on Twitter and everything. People are saying this guy is overpowered, and you know what he showed off in this episode against you know Hit's time skip ability. It was, it was insane. It was absolutely insane. So the whole episode is Hit versus Jiren, and they're swapping hands. And uh, Hit, uh, Topo actually in the episode uh, actually says that Hit is actually doing uh, surprisingly well against Jiren, but not well enough to, into, uh, to obviously uh, beat him, but he was doing obviously probably better than times 20 Kaioken Super Saiyan Blue Goku. That's what it seems like because of his Tokotobashi or the time skip. So the whole episode is them just kind of fighting each other. Uh, Hit pulls out a whole bunch of techniques that he showed off in the past. Like him being able to go into this alternate dimension and attack someone without them knowing. Yeah, hit, just not hit. It doesn't work. Jiren just fucking turns around and punches him. Yeah. <laughs> so they're swapping punches. You know, it's stuff's happening. I don't really, I don't really know what else to really explain in this episode besides that Jiren is basically just going at hit. He's showing off a lot of other different moves that uh, we weren't expecting. Uh, we get a couple of shots of like Kava and Khalifa and Kale and stuff like that, and they're surprised that this is happening. Uh, Hit is continuously using his time skip, going different uh, directions at Jiren, and Jiren is just blocking all these hits. But uh, he is, you know, missing a couple of punches at Hit, and you know, is doing. It, it, he's doing really well, and I'm not speaking about Jiren, I'm speaking about Hit, and Hit's doing a pretty decent job, he's blocking attacks, he's using a time, he's using his time skips to, you know, av avoid attacks and stuff like that. It's very interesting, and we get a lot of, you know, we get a lot of dialogue from some of the Gods of Destruction and stuff like that, uh, who are obviously watching the fight. And then, uh, we actually do get to see a shot of Goku watching the fight, and we actually finally get to see the Universe 6 uh, Namekians that we have been teased a couple of times, and that who've on, who I've honestly wanted to see for a while, because, you know, this is the first time in a while that we've actually seen other Namekians, besides the ones in Universe 7, obviously, you know, doing other stuff similar to fighting, like how, you know, Piccolo is, you know, you know, does, you know. And I don't I don't know what their names are. Uh, just you can go ahead and l look it up somewhere. And there's probably definitely like a leak saying like what their names are. The translations might might be different com uh, compared to what they actually are named for in Japanese. But whatever. I don't I don't know what their names are. But that's just it. So we get we get a tease of Gohan and Piccolo fighting these Universe Six Namekians. And it's left off there. We might see him in a future episode uh, fighting, but right now we're just getting teased. Uh, Vegeta is fighting Rip Brienne. Uh, we get this. Sh we get this scene of Rip Brienne, uh, kind of like doubting, you know, if she can actually win or not. Uh, her teammate just slaps the shit out of her because I think I think Dragon Ball Super is starting to become self-aware that people hate Rip Brienne and we want her fucking dead already. And now, now I'm a lot more pissed off because I read a comment, and I'll get into that later once we once we get to the end of the episode. But you know, Hit is being pushed back. He starts using um, a certain techniques that he did in like episode like 70 ish around there when he was going to assassinate uh, Goku. Um, Hit actually, you know, lands an attack finally. It's the one where he um, hit, uh, hit hit Goku in like his heart. And what Hit basically did against Jiren is that he, you know, almost knocked him off of the arena. He he just barely almost knocked him off of the arena. I was actually pretty surprised. But uh, basically what Hit does in the basically the finale of the episode, you can say, is that he traps him in a realm of time, I guess you can say. In his, in his time skip, he trapped him inside it. They basically paralyze him and make him immobile. You know, he can't move at all. But it doesn't really matter because I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to gonna skip a whole bunch of stuff that happened. Uh, we do get a scene where Hit is telling Kava and the other uh, the others to go after everyone else. I'll deal with Jiren and stuff like that. So you know, Hit is holding out his hand to keep Jiren trapped inside of his time skip. Uh, uh, Jiren 
you know, being Jiren and how unrealistically stupid he is, um, he starts moving closer to hit. He's moving out of his time skip, basically. It's fucking ridiculous. Hit charges up with an attack against Jiren. Uh, it doesn't work because Jiren then decides he's going to use uh, a barrier created by his fucking glare at Hit. I, I, I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. I'm going to use it for a thumbnail, just because you know. But I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. He just conjures up a barrier with the look of his eye, and there you go. You know, he destroys. Uh, the the time uh, the time the time skip that he was trapped in and the orb that hit had it in his hand I don't know what it is he kind of reminds me of a Rasengan from Naruto <laughs> but uh, he destroys that and then after that it was pretty much over and hit actually says it himself after that was destroyed it was over you know Jiren hits uh, hits hit with a barrage of attacks. Uh, throws, uh, lifts him up into the air with a key attack, and then he says something like, it's done, I don't, don't don't quote me, he says something like that, and, you know, that's pretty much it, he did what he, uh, he did what, on hit, what he did to Kale, and, you know, he turned his back around, crossed his arms, said, it's done, and then, you know, the blast exploded, and then knocked hit off of the arena, he got eliminated, hit got eliminated from the tournament, and, I'm gonna be honest. I, uh, I, I don't know what the, I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that because it's like, hit. I actually really like. I actually really like him. You know, when we saw him in the Universe Six tournament, and we saw how well he was doing against uh, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken, uh, Kaioken Goku in uh, the tournament in, of versus Universe Six. It was really cool. It was really cool. And just uh, the fact that he got hit, the fact that the, the fact that he got hit eliminated from the tournament, like how like how he did, uh, it bothers me. It bothers me because I wanted to see more from him, but it's whatever. I guess it was like bound to happen eventually. I guess. So the episode basically ends off with Jiren. Um, re, uh, re, uh, regrouping with Tipo, uh, Tipo, Topo and Dispo. I apologize. Um, he regroups with Dispo and Topo, stuff like that, right? And he, you know, he basically says that there's no reason for me to ever really move ever again in this tournament because the people I was needed for are done. You know, you know, hits eliminated, and Goku's basically out of energy. So he just says, "Fuck it." and starts sitting meditating and right there in the middle of the arena he's that confident of his power that he just sits there and meditates and i almost find that hilarious but at the same time i find that almost fucking terrifying because it's like oh you're gonna be that powerful oh okay um that's cool i don't know so that that's how the episode ends uh something in my mouth very enjoyable episode i did enjoy it but overall you know with with stuff that did happen uh it it, it really it really annoyed me it really just kind of almost pissed me off with you know just how it happened but it's whatever it was still enjoyable that's episode 111 in the books um definitely go watch it if you are a hit fan but at the same time, don't watch it if you're a hit fan because you're just going to watch him get eliminated, sadly. <laughs> Anyways, that's the end of the video and that's the end of the episode. I uh, hope you guys did enjoy uh, this video. And I do, again, apologize for this video coming out uh, super late. You should be expecting this to come out on Wednesday if, of course, I'm not lazy or I'm just extremely tired for whatever reason. Uh, stuff like that. I haven't been working on that montage that I said I was going to make, but now that I feel like I should probably be working on it, I'll probably get to working on it uh, very, very soon. Uh, my channel up has updated with its new banner and its new uh, profile picture now, so I hope you guys do, do enjoy that. So anyways, uh, that's the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, drop a like. If you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button for future content just like this. Hope you guys have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys later.